Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to go through music boxes for Kingdom Hearts. I'm going to split this into two videos though because there's two music boxes. So the two music boxes are here on the side. So this is for Kingdom Hearts, The Other Promise. So this is based on Roxas's theme. And then the second one is Vector to the Heavens, which is based on Shion or Shion's theme, however you want to pronounce her name. So these, I believe, were originally available at the Kingdom Hearts Orchestra concert. Um, that happened globally. I didn't attend those, so I didn't know that these were actually available there. But then it turns out you could get these from Square Enix Merchandise Japanese store, which I used Aitaikuji for, which I'll put in a link in the description below. But now it also turns out for Europe and UK at least, they had these on pre-order on the local websites, which means potentially could have saved a little bit of money. So if you are in UK or Europe like I am, then check that link as well because that might save you a little bit of money. But here's the music boxes. They're pretty heavy in, compared to the near one, which I have sitting right here. And it's definitely a lot bigger as well. So these are gonna be maybe the like second or third music boxes from Square Enix that I've done an unboxing for. Um, so that should be quite exciting. And I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts as well. I do like The Other Promise. I like that kind of theme quite a bit. Um, so what I'll, do, what I'll do is I'll do an unboxing and I'll do a sound test in the same video and then I'll also do two separate videos where it's just purely the music only for both of these and you won't hear my voice you won't see my face so that's something I've done with the near automata one if you haven't seen that already check it out so let's get straight to the unboxing then okay so here is the Kingdom Hearts music box the other promise so a closer look at the box you can see the iconography of the Kingdom Hearts kind of uh, Mickey Mouse symbol and a heartless and uh, the heart itself so that's the typical kind of thing for most kingdom hearts assets now so it's nice i like that pattern always uh, if you noticed as well what i was sitting on was a blanket of kingdom hearts 2 and then on the back is just some japanese text of the name of the product as well so music box the other promise so again this is based off of uh, roxas's theme and then a nice full uh, logo there so i'm going to get this thing open so it's a nice cube box that it comes in it's weighted as well actually um Inside, you just get a instruction leaf leaflet, which I'm not going to go and read through, but basically how to wind it up and always to be careful and don't wind it more than you need to. Let's put the box to the side. It comes in a plastic wrap, as it should. And now I understand why this is a little bit heavier than the near one, because the near one is just a plastic music box and for lack of better terms a cheaper alternative i suppose whereas this as we can see is an actual box itself so here it's more, got a very grayish look to it it might appear a little bit black but it's got more of a gunmetal gray wood finish to it which honestly looks quite nice i do like the way this looks yes this is very very nice so kingdom hearts with the crown on the back square enix and disney so it's got a little bit of a reflective uh, tint to it. Not not super tint, um, super reflective, but very minor. Um, but very plain, but I like the color of the box itself. So let's show you the top again. So the other Promise music box featuring a print of Roxas. I do think the print could be a little bit cleaner. Um, you can feel the print actually, but I think the print could be a little bit cleaner, but it's not awful or bad. Just could be a bit better. Maybe I'm just being picky. Opening this, oh, okay. So there's a mirror there, as you saw. So I'm gonna open it this way so you can't see my um, ghetto setup. Okay, so that's a nice sample of the music itself. Um, that's actually quite nice. So you saw the inner tray. I'll open it again, I took over it, sorry. But you can see the inside of the box that you can place some uh, valuables, maybe your Kingdom Hearts jewelry. Um, perhaps some of those might be a little bit too big, but the charms you can probably fit in there. On the underside then is the wind up. So just wind it clockwise and then basically open a box and it continues to play the music. So it's pretty straightforward as music boxes go. Everyone pretty much knows how they operate, uh, but this is actually quite nice. Um, I'm not disappointed really. Uh, that's my only real thing is that the print could be a bit nicer there. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is actually quite good. And it's very loud. Uh, it sounds pretty good so far. And like I promised as well, <laughs> the other promise is I will do a separate video of just the music on its own. Um, this is, yeah, quite nice. Now I'm expecting Vector to the uh, Heavens to be very similar to this. So I'll get onto that one 
after I do the uh, sound test for this. So I'm gonna leave this right here by opening the box and then yeah, after about 10 seconds or so, I'll exit the video. So thank you for watching and check out a separate video of just the music on its own and Vector to the Heavens.